I used to always joke that all you need for a film is a great performance, one light, and a camera. That was sort of the basis of this, was how to take something really, really small, but try to make it really big because of all of the heart and love that was in Sam's writing. I was just so amazed that I was able to connect with characters that on the surface were so different than me and feel so deeply for them. And there were so many themes in Sam's work that overlapped with stuff that I had been working on and thinking about. There was just such a connection. And I liked the potential challenge of trying to take something so constrained and trying to make it a cinematic experience. He told me that it's a story about a man living with a great deal of regret. Um, he wants to make amends with his daughter and he's been progressively harming himself by overeating. He has very little time and that it's to be a, a redemption story. And then he went on to explain that Charlie carries some hundreds and hundreds of pa extra pounds of body weight. And to create that, we needed to start with costuming apparatus makeup and he would be uh, doing a, a scan, a 3D rendering, uh, printing of that, a mold of that, and then more traditional applications that, you know, an actor gets up early, and we all drink a lot of coffee and look at YouTube videos and maybe I nap a bit, and that's how it gets started. So look, I, I, he had me at, at um, I'm making a movie, so that's why I went. I'm not sure, sure if I ever asked you, Sadie, what you Whether I think she's yeah, good or evil? Yeah, she yeah. never did. Did we ever actually have that question? I don't know. I think okay. when I was filming, I, I definitely, for the earlier scenes, I had moments where I was like, oh, she is, there's some real, real darkness in her. Hmm. And, it, you know, there is, but I think it's just developed over time coming from this great deal of pain that she's in. And I think she has no idea who she is. She's very insecure, I think. But it's this game that she's become really good at playing that's kind of a challenge for Charlie, but the thing about him is that he's able to kind of see past all of it and, I don't know, ensure her that there's a part of herself that he sees so clearly that I think is, is, is good. I think there's good in her. He is such a complicated character to play and so it takes time for at least me to kind of get to that point where I can think of all the nuances of what's going on plus the actual performance of it all and Sam definitely and Darren of course really helped bring that out so. When Darren called me uh, and said let's talk about making this into a film I, I was really nervous about it because I know the traditional thing would be to like open it up and and you know, more locations, more, you know, and I was really nervous about that because I was like, I don't think that's what this story wants. But in one of our really early meetings, I think it maybe was the second time we met, Darren said, no, let's keep it in the room. And I was so happy about that. When Charlie writes the note to his students, uh, <laughs> to his students to, you know, just write something honest, which is a big emotional thing, and it comes out of something truthful that happened to Sam. I was trying to, as whenever I could give uh, Brendan a break, uh, it was really important to do that because of how difficult. To too. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you know what, this is typing on the screen. Let Brendan get out, partly get out of the suit, relax, and let's shoot some shots without to let him recover. So it's like, oh, let's have Sam type the note. I've never seen a writer with that many typos. <laughs> he was just terrified. Even though he's I not on shaking. it, my entire was, body yeah. was He was like quivering. I'm like, what's up? He's like, well, that's something I have. I, I get really nervous at performing. So I've been incredibly proud that you've been able to like be talking model. about this. And, and even a hand model. <laughs> that was my Waterloo. Uh, that was my Waterloo. <laughs> yeah. And I was in the disco tent with my Gatorade. <laughs> Air conditioning, Barker lounger. <laughs> Looking great, Sam. <laughs> keep, keep messing up. I get more time in here.